Hello to Sui and the Hellenes. I'm back here in Oyam for video two of the process of making the t-shirts and the bags for your groups. Here's a clip of us with the women who will be making the items. But before we get to the rest of the fun part, I'll take you back to Kampala where we began designing the shirts and the bags. There's a lot of measurements on a woman's t-shirt. Um, so we're using some sample t-shirts that Ali has and then we're also online looking at all the uh, charts that we can find for standard measurements. So once we finalized the designs, we returned to Chiembe, the fashion district, again and again and again to find all the supplies and materials that we would need up in Oyam, where there's no electricity, very rudimentary sewing machines, and very limited supplies. We're on our fourth trip to Chiembe and the efforts to find cotton in Chiembe have failed. But we still got like purple fabric from here and canvas from here. But we didn't end up finding the material that we needed for the t-shirts, the right type of cotton. So we decided to think bigger in order to find it. Actually, much bigger. So we've come to the largest exporter of textiles in Uganda to get our cotton fabric because this is the only place we could get it and it's a good price. So we're gonna see it for the first time now. Then we traveled up to Oyam, which is where all the groups that we work with are, and we began tracing out all of the patterns for the shirts and the bags out of cardstock, so it'd be very easy for all the w village groups to cut out each piece of fabric. It is Monday morning, and we're back in Oyam here at the office. We're working in the conference room. <laughs> It's uh, almost 7 p.m. Ali's just finished the last bit of template. That's it. Templates are done. That was a big, that was a big step. And once we finished, we were ready to start the most exciting part, which is to meet with the women and get to work. So that'll be in the next video. But for now, here's a quick sneak peek. <laughs> 